Hello everybody. The Warriors blew a big lead and barely hung on against the Bulls. Let's watch the chaotic ending to this game. Draymond seems to be looking at Steve Kerr, seeing if Kerr wants to call a play, and Kerr seems to make a let's just run our offense kind of motion with his hands. So Von Looney sets his flat screen for pick and roll. Steph not only has Caruso staying with him, but Vucevic is also hanging around Steph. No one ever got fired for following Steph Curry. So Steph swings the ball over to Kavon. Temporarily Vucevic is way off of Looney. So Looney tries to flow this straight into a little dribble handoff to Clay. This defender does a really good job staying with Clay. Looney bails out of that. The Warriors try flowing this into a stagger screen for Andrew Wiggins. Here Steph is going to try to screen Levine. Clay is going to come over and screen. Levine just goes around the screens. Clay's man stays with him tight. So Wiggins flows this into pick and roll. Looney trying to nail Levine with the screen so that Vucevic will be forced to switch to Wiggins. So this little defensive wrinkle the Bulls are throwing at the Warriors was definitely gumming up the offense a little bit. The idea is the defender just plays up on the perimeter. Vucevic drops and they just let the pass go over to the open Looney and then dare him to create. But unless the pass is really good, you're just going to have Looney facing up against Vucevic and they're not afraid of that. So time is running down. Things are looking pretty grim. Steph tries to do a screen for Draymond. And of course, Caruso stays with Steph. So if this was Clay, then DeRozan might have fought harder around that Steph screen. But since it's Draymond, he really wants Draymond to shoot this ball. There's only five left on the shot clock here. So Draymond says, heck, let's do this. <laughs> he makes it. What a shocker. Every three that Draymond makes feels like a six. Defensive confusion. Steph is pointing out saying, hey, Clay switched cleanly to Caruso. Clay is switching over to Caruso as ordered, but Caruso just turns around and it looks like he might be setting a screen on Steph. And that leaves Clay and Steph confused about did the switch take place or not? So Steph goes to Dragic. Clay thinks that the switch never took place and he still is responsible for Dragic. And so Caruso, in fact, gets an open cut to the basket. Luckily, DeMar DeRozan was in the middle of putting the moves on Kevon Looney. This is usually automatic for DeRozan from this elbow jumper. He goes up and Kevon Looney just straight up blocks him. That's just beautiful defense. The Bulls continuing to do their interesting defense on Looney. Steph attacks. Caruso is, of course, still attached to his hip. Caruso got off the bus, went straight over to Steph Curry in his house and just put his hand on his hip. When Aisha tried to give Steph a drumstick, Caruso denied the pass. Anyway, Vucevic playing drop on Steph. But then as soon as the ball releases to Looney, the Bulls are trying to turn Looney into a one-on-one -on -one player against Vucevic. So Steph drives deep. And this time there should be enough space for him to come by for this handoff. Caruso does temporarily get hung up on the screen, but he's fighting hard enough that Steph can't just go up for this three. So Steph is continually being defended by these two defenders. Looney rolls. Steph throws a little pocket pass. Vucevic tries to recover to the rolling Looney. Dragic doesn't trust, so he sinks in. So for a split second, Looney can pass it out to an open clay. But good job by Dragic just anticipating the pass this way and then when clay cuts back door on him just with great energy i the pass to clay clay does something clever he finally has a moment where Dragic is behind him so he just turns around and if he can post up Dragic, he can shoot a turnaround jumper on him so looney entry pass and Dragic knows he's going to be toast if this gets through so he tries to go around clay and break up the pass but it's a foul just that act of clay getting into post position gets Clay two free throws. Steph Curry played pretty good defense on this play. Caruso setting a screen to try to get Levine ISO'd onto Steph. Interestingly, the Warriors don't seem too worried about that and Steph says, fine, I'll switch on you, let's do this. Caruso slips, so Levine in theory can get this pass over to Caruso who can then run a four on three over here. But Steph with the lightning fast hands, he deflects this pass, Patoing. So Levine says, all right, I'm just going to ISO Steph. Steph doing a good job of funneling him to the help Draymond, waiting with loving arms for Levine to get there. And then as Zach Levine goes by, Steph with the block from behind, they call a foul on him. Draymond here with a pretty amazing block. Okay, so on review, Steph was cleared of all charges and 
He did not fall out of the game. The Bulls track down this ensuing jump ball. It's just a mess. I think people don't know who's matched up with whom. Vucevic is trying to sneak over here. Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting three balls. Draymond tries to tell Looney to jump out there to, to go pick up Vucevic, but he realizes he's just got to do it himself. So Draymond seems to be the only person here who realizes that Vucevic is uncovered. The pass is on its way. It's a race between this ball and Draymond. And of course the ball's going to win, but can Draymond get there in time to bother an extremely open three-point shot? Well, that was a pretty good contest by Draymond. That was a pretty bricky three. It's so bricky that the ball is taking a wild bounce. It's a complete 50-50 ball here. Caruso with a great hustle play to come in and bat this ball out to the side. And then unfortunately, Caruso and DeRozan both think that they're going for the ball and the ball just goes out of bounds. That's a big break. The Warriors run this stagger screen, Looney, and then Draymond coming over here. But the real action is going to be Kevon Looney is going to continue on and set a pin down screen for Clay. Steph threatening the dribble handoff. Looney setting the screen for Clay coming around. The last few plays, the Bulls had Vucevic in drop with the defender locked and trailed, letting Looney roll free to try to tempt the pass so then Vucevic could recover. And Clay decides, you know, if you're not going to commit 100% to the relationship with me, and he just gets to the free throw line and goes straight up. Vucevic is backpedaling just enough because he has to worry about Looney's cut behind him. And that is a real shooter's roll. Quick transition screen, Caruso screening off Wiggins to force Steph to switch on to Zach Levine. Steph points to Wiggins saying, switch, switch. Don't worry about me, I volunteer as tribute. Steph does a good job of walling him off of the middle, funneling Levine to come towards the basket at this spot, which is exactly where Draymond can rotate to meet him. Steph actually did such a good job that he angled Levine into the baseline here. Look how far Levine is out of bounds here when he passes this. So the ball does get through. So right now, there's three Warriors covering four Bulls. Looney's running out to cover this man, now Wiggins, has to cover these two men. And look at Draymond. The second he sees that Wiggins is rotating out to Vucevic, Draymond is going to suddenly turn, anticipating the swing to Caruso. Draymond goes up and he actually blocks the shot. Amazing. And that is the end of the game. So a wacky, semi-random ending to this game, but the Warriors definitely deserve the win outplaying the Bulls for most of the game, but I think they're going to have to look at some tape to see how to comfortably counter that Bulls defense, which was really gumming up the works. And every win, ugly or beautiful, counts the same in the standings. Okay, we're going to do a little celebration audit. We're going to see, see if anyone is prematurely celebrating this Draymond 3. No one is, of course, thinking he's going to shoot. And now it's up in the air. I see no one on the bench going up. In fact, they're looking with quite a lot of concern. And it's gone through. Uh, still no one here. Moses Moody seems to be in a prayer stance. Okay, finally, after the ball has gone all the way through, Kaminga is the first one to jump up with uh, I'm a big Y, but three ball version. He's holding up the threes. Okay, the ball's almost being inbounded and Moody's still not quite gotten into his angry man three celebration. Lamb has a quicker release on his celebration so he's already up and yelling at Draymond. All right since the Warriors bench did not seem too optimistic let's look at the crowd instead. Draymond gets the pass. Draymond puts on his backpack and let's see how the crowd's feeling about it. Ah uh, let's see this guy's got indigestion. This guy looks a little bit uh, resigned to his fate. He looks in slight disbelief that Draymond's going to shoot this, and he's probably calculating how many points the Bulls will score on the fast break going the other way. She looks gravely concerned and is going to put together a committee to study why the heck Draymond is shooting this. She's got, like, straight-up fright. <laughs> and then you can see everyone's uh, expression here. Ms. Fright is now turned to happiness. Mr. Indigestion looks like he's just had a Pepto-Bismol. He looks like he's smelling Draymond shorts. Zach Levine does not seem to think there's justice in the universe. And DeMar DeRozan is the very picture of a Greek statue titled, Man, You Got Lucky. 